we will make sure you see some amazing games. Take the first step into the next season. We are counting on you. Help us make Star Ladder 11 awesome. We will see you again sooner than you think. Thank you for your support. And your contribution will make us a little bit happier. Thank you. Welcome everybody! Star Ladder Season 11 kicks off now. It's day one, the opening day. We got China action. Gods and LD in the studio. Yeah. How's it feeling? It's it's feeling early. <laughs> it is. It is. I, I I've got the tea going. You know, we're yeah. we're out of we're out of other caffeinated beverages. So I'm resorting to tea. But I ate one too many enchiladas too. So <laughs> apologies. Food coma. Yeah, a bit of a food coma, and apologies if if, uh, if you're just constantly yeah. not talk. If you're like. It's like Whew. talk, <laughs> just stops. Well, he's he's probably belching. They were so. good enchiladas. So. They were good. K-pop toast is he, he's, he's a mean cook, man. I, that's why he's not been doing stats anymore. He's just become the BTS chef. So. Yeah, we were we were you know, talking about it, man. It's it's just crazy how quickly Star Ladder is back. Like, <laughs> I got back from Kiev like I two weeks like ago. It's like exactly. It's like too sudden, but. Like Land finals was. Like, like I can still remember those grand finals games. If I can remember it like that vividly, I feel like something's wrong, but. And obviously, uh, for those who missed the news, I guess, uh, we had some, some unfortunate results for the Chinese teams. So they didn't end up coming to the land finals yeah. last time around. But it seems hopefully all is resolved and whoever qualifies will come. We can only hope. But Yeah, Newbie yeah. decided they didn't want to play. That's fine. That's up to them. But Vici Gaming, who, decided, who ended up not attending the land finals, are back playing, have given their word that they will attend. So hopefully their word is better than mine. In blood. <laughs> oh, well played, sir. Well played. Yeah. We'll get ourselves in the draft. So, uh, game one, we've got three games today. Oh, this draft just flew by. We actually had some problems connecting to the game. That's why we didn't catch the start of this draft, guys. So, uh, through China, you will notice there will be some occasional perfect world issues. Hopefully, they kept to a minimum. Do give us feedback, though. The new patch did apparently fix some of the audio codec y majiggery things. I don't know. Some so valve jargon. LD probably knows better than I do. We have gotten no complaints since the change, so yeah. maybe it's fixed, or maybe people have just got tired of complaining. Maybe they just stopped buying out. tickets. <laughs> That's the other option. That, I've heard a lot of people say yeah. that. So. Buy the ticket. You guys heard Loda and all those beautiful people in that video. They want you to buy the ticket, so so they can earn real money. Yeah. God, why did they make that? Um... I want to kill the man that made that video. <laughs> anyway, Travis Underway. Whoa, Omni Knight. Woo, some spicy picks coming out here. All right, so uh. opening was pretty bland. Just that first pick tied. All the bands very standard. Then it's a tied Lycan. Lycan has been uh, a bit stock rising in China, I guess you would say. We've seen Sila run it a lot. Some other teams at least pick him up here and there. EG obviously had great results with the here at Star Ladder, and teams like Cloud9 are running it more. Um, but nothing too unusual first phase. But yeah, then Vichy Gaming bust out the Tiny Wisp, something that I'm surprised they haven't been running more, honestly, just because they had so much luck with it when they were just spamming Tiny Wisp and Drow Visage every game. They kind of got away from it. Not really sure why. Their win rate was great, but now they're back to running it more. We saw them use it in our grand finals and the Summit too. Um, China, and we're seeing them use it again here. Yeah. It's also interesting they're going to first two pick the Slack, which Black has just been beast moding on every time I've seen him. So we get to see Super probably on the Tiny. I think we'll cast in the game the other day when they had Super playing Tiny for the first time ever, we looked up. and It could be Ice Ice Ice. They, yep. The first time they ran it that I saw with this roster, it was Black. And I think maybe they decided probably not the best player to be playing Tiny because of communication issues, so... Um, he does speak some Chinese, but Tiny Wisp is a pretty intricate combo. You want to know like exactly how you're moving and be a, a well-oiled yeah. machine. So I think, yeah, it should be either Ice 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 or Super, and I guess it's just going to depend on this, hmm. this last pick. I wonder if we get some Ags Omni Knight to do with that Tiny. Uh, that's kind of like a long way down the track, but... Oh, yeah, for the buildings. It is, it is a pretty handy way. They have Lycan Jakiro. 
decent base racing lineup if they're already, <laughs> if they're know, already if, game planning If you ever want a base race of Wiss Tiny, you want to have an Omni Knight with a Nag Scepter in your team. That's the only way you're beating that Wiss Tiny. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's certainly true. All right, so Undying from Vici Gaming. So this looks to be your Ice 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 hero, and it probably will be a Super Tiny. Okay. So I guess so maybe a solo Slark here, and then that Undying Skyrath dual lane um, in the off lane. Yeah, or you just put the Sky with the Slark if you want to guarantee Black Reform. I think Slark kind of struggles a bit much against the Tide. You need the Skyrath there to zone him out. So yeah. I, think, I think Ice 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 just gets left alone. That's kind of his thing. He goes to the off lane on heroes that sometimes shouldn't be in the off lane, but... I mean, Undying is an alright offlaner, but he's not a conventional one. So, we haven't really talked at all about Speed Gaming Gods. This was a team that, uh, originally, we did not invite to the Summit 2 pre-qualifier, and their manager sent me a heartfelt plea on QQ, oh. saying, you know, my players really want a chance to compete. They ended up, I think, being tied for second or something, so they didn't get the first place advanced directly to the main online stage. They didn't qualify for that. They fell short in the playoffs, but... Uh, a young, growing group of players, and they yeah. seem very passionate, so I'm excited to see this Omni pick, and well, hopefully they'll surprise us. With Newbie not playing in Star Ladder, that does open up the, the way for some of these younger and less well-known teams in the yeah. West. It's it's crazy. Like, LV Gaming just qualified for the D2 LAN Finals, and they didn't make it through the Star Ladder pre-qualifiers, which was against much easier opposition. So... Obviously, the Chinese scene, there's a lot of teams with great potential, maybe not as consistent as they need to be, but... Um, some teams, I mean, like LV Gaming just mentioned, not making it in, but instead it's Speed Gaming as well as IMG, a team I'd never heard of and whose players I've never heard of who are actually in the main event. So that's another team to look out for as far as uh, upcoming teams in the Chinese scene. So we'll see how things go here. Last pick, Puck for Speed Gaming. And that just was kind of like the mid hero that they were missing. Puck's pretty good against the Slack because you can jump in with the Blink Silence before you get up a Dark Pact and... Also, a bit kind of elusive in the mid lane if you are going to be up against that Wisp Tiny. So, so yeah, looking at the other teams in the bracket, uh, might be worth talking about this a little bit because this is our first match. But yeah, we've got Speed, Vici, uh, IMG, which is a team that I have never heard of. I've yeah, Even out I of was, the Tier 2 Chinese teams. I was looking at their roster and I had not heard of a single player. So, um, We had some info from Chernobyl, from Ghost of Gamers, that... What did he say again? He gave us a roster. Some of the old new element guys, I believe. That was just the Just coach. the coach? Okay. So Oh, Shiki? coached by a former new element player. Shiki, so the guy who used to play the support roaming bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> new element were the funniest team to cast because they would the, always the five, pick this The bounty. five core strat. Yeah. I remember. They'd yeah. pick five cores and one of those was a roaming bounty hunter who would be level one at ten minutes in uh -oh. and then still win Dota. FY God. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, he's got that 325 base move speed. Gareth, good and hero. this is like the worst... This is the most ass level one Genki lineup you'll ever see. <laughs> yeah. Let's take it an ice path or something, but don't right. generally see uh -huh. that at level one. They're gonna find yeah, well they're exactly they're gonna keep seeing heroes, but what are they gonna do to these heroes? And VG gaming are kind of hiding. They might even trees. try to go in here as an ice oh, ice ice gets four up the hero decay. decay. Uh oh. He's got nine hundred HP! He's gonna have GG. another decay soon! Oh dear. That purification ain't gonna save save your liking. GG. Three hero decay. This is gonna be two. Oh okay, just two. This, he's going to right-click so hard. 85 damage, one right-click. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. There's no uh, Ferrari Oh, he almost there. respawned in time to jaunt. Now he's going to miss his creep lock. Well, oh, if he, had, if he had just respawned like one second sooner. I was getting ready for the Puck face shift. That was the exact place where it happened, LD. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't happen. Puck had no. illusionary orb. It could have been magical. Yeah. Could have relived the moment. Well, he could have. If he had jaunted in, I would have totally done a wow yeah. for that. <laughs> So ice, 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 he salves up. He's not getting the best value because of all this decay. Maybe could have waited, but he was going to be more or less full HP. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, so one thing worth mentioning is they did their standard Tiny West thing, broke down all the trees. We'll see the double stack soon. And they're going to run a dual lane here. It's Skywrath Slark against a very underwhelming tri lane. Lycan Omni Knight Ch Chikira. Just What's a very Chikira awkward combo. <laughs> well, no. You may be a tri lane, but you still got to be careful. Okay, the purification will save his life. FY. That big move speed will save his life, but... Yeah, he did take a lot of damage there. Okay. Not as crazy as it looked, thanks to the, the Omni backup. So, Wisp got the first blood. Wisp already has bottle. And still some pulled tango from one of his teammates, it's and they're tiny, going on mid. Uh, tiny Toss? Not got much. Oh, oh, he's going to prevent the drop, maybe? No, not quite. Okay. That was damn close. Meanwhile, Tidehunter almost dying top lane. Ice 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 going hard in the paint. He's got to salve up. 
Yeah, this is actually not the like normally Tide does well against Melee's, but I think Undying is not the most straightforward of one v one matchups. It's definitely not a matchup you normally play. You see Jakiro. He's uh, doing some work here with the Jewel Breath. He's still level 1 though, and Black's going to show up and... This is a ballsy yeah. Jakiro. To be fair, he's got an Omni backing yeah. him up. It's still Omni chewing through his mana, and as a support Omni Knight, that's precious mana. They're going to kill anyways. Screw it, they say. Um, I don't know about this. Lycan continuing to go in. There is no latch for a oh, while God. here, but Concussive Shot... There's no mana shot. for purification. He's stolen too much damage. He's got 8 Essence Shift oh, stacks. Oh, man. 10 HP. That's a lot. So close. That's a lot of deeps. He claritied maybe, but... Oh, they just try lane. Offensive try lane fail. And they're going to give up two runes here. FY getting the bottom rune. Fortunately, it's not a regen rune. And they snagged that delicious bounty rune top. FY with the uh, stat D padding mid lane. They're going on uh, the puck here. Toss going to miss. Super. Uh oh. Uh, bottle. Bottle him up. Wow. Not enough bottle action. Yeah. He was getting hit by the creep wave, it looks like. And yeah. That oh. was mis misplays. That's, mis a, that's a feed. That's <laughs> a confirmed feed to get things underway. A sloppy start to the uh, start of Season 11. I think the teams are still confused that Season 11 starting as soon as it is, much like us. So, Whew. where Where's the soundboard, dude? Can we go, like, wake Coddle Guy up, <laughs> get that thing plugged in and wired up? <laughs> this is quickly... <laughs> this is already a bit of a clown fest, i got to be honest. Star Ladder Season 11. <laughs> it's getting weird. All right, so we're going to see West stacking the jungle. In good news for speed gaming, thanks to that HAL damage, they are just doing really well in terms of CS. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, though, they have a level 2 Lycan. Oh, the Curry at mid. No, it's three minutes. Someone upgrade it. Oh, they're not actually going for it. They're going for the Puck kill, and, well, Puck's going to leave. Had, career goes down. They had gold on Jakiro. Omni Knight did not have gold because he bought Puck, his boots. Extend those balls. Extend those balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please. All right. Omni's dead now. He's... What, yeah, what's his Jakiro had gold to upgrade as All well. Alright, he just ha he's saving a point. Hasn't gone repel or degen. I'm okay with that. For a second I thought he had stats. St the stats knight? The, s the stats heal. Stats degen, that's that's more legit. No, just skip the heal entirely and just yeah. go for degen. Just right click fools with that, that oove. That's where it's at. By the way, Ice Ice Ice, he does have your gold tombstone top lane, so clearly a man right. who knows his RNG. And he is doing pretty damn well here against the, the Tidehunter. Just getting his levels early, already level 5, but just to even be like at half his CS is quite the accomplishment, I would say. Yeah, Tide's going to get his arcane boots, and this lane probably gets a bit uglier, but we'll see. Just top burn. Mm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what is going He didn't even try Please. I mean, to be fair, that's a Boots I... Omni Knight, so he probably... Well, oh, no, there's Boots on Wisp. Yeah, there's yeah. just that's just inexcusable. All right, Tiny. Thinking about going in on the puck. Not going to find the <laughs> opening, but... Oh, they're going X, yeah. They get the silence off. Can they get the avalanche before the silence wears off? Just a tossy oh. face shift dodge it. Wow! <laughs> That was a wow. And oh, Fender's going to go down here for this one, possibly. He's so screwed. No, maybe uh, not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Puck's got the repel. He can go hard if he wants to. He doesn't have all for a few more seconds. And instead, it's FY who's committing to this one. There's another phase shift. He's not going to get out of there, though. It's okay. Oh, my God. Omnisama got this. Okay. All right. Yeah, not, not worth. Mm. Two for one. Yeah. Good good dives from, from FY coming out on the Skyrath Mage. Good, good effective feeds. Are we sure this is actually Vici Gaming? It feels more we like some doppelgangers. Moscow they? Five with PGG <laughs> up against like Virtus Pro with Vigos or something back in the olden days. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's funny because everyone. I'm, I'm guessing like two thirds of the people here were just watching that LGD versus LV series, which was by no means perfect. There were definitely some clowny plays, but still like pretty high level Dota overall. And well, welcome to the circus. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You can see one of the best teams in the world, Vici Gaming, who won ESL One. New York, just uh, not play their best Dota. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe they're being uh, just playing, playing to uh, a bit cocky, or just taking it. Then they're leveled down to their opponents, who are a much more newer, in, upcoming team. And good news, they do have Tiny Whiff, so yeah. you can be somewhat more risky there and make more mistakes and still turn it around. But they're up against one of the heroes that punishes this the most, I would say, in the Tide Hunter. You relocate on top of big old Papa Tide and. Yeah. yeah, he just ravages, blows up your wisp, and then your tiny's just a very sad panda. And they're gonna go in bottom lane here, on to Melody Lovers, and, well, that's a dead Jakiro. Okay, you can't be down there by yourself. Lycan seems to have just ditched this lane, just, I mean, he can't farm anymore, he wants to go jungle. Which is, he's not gonna jungle too fast, pre-Vlads or pre-Medallion, pre but it's probably better than what he's getting at the bottom lane. 
And I don't think he can really lane against Ice Ice Ice, who's already level 7. Mid lane, though. Tiny. Taunt. He gets oh, the heal bomb. Mm, oh. Super. Fate, like, hesitated for a half second there on the yeah. heal. You gotta be so careful going on super, because that heal with the bottle is still there, but... Wisp is nice and low. He's someone you can look to burst down. I This Wisp Tiny play has been far from... Immaculate. Some of the Wisp Tiny you see from like the No Tell Kuro of Secret and some like the old Fnatic, like they would know exactly when and how to be aggressive. Well, right? even Ice 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 and FY were playing a really good Tiny Wisp, but yeah. it's they are changing. It's not one, but two. It's Fenrir playing the Wisp, which we did see yesterday, but it was FY playing it for a while. So I'm not sure if this is a permanent change, just situational or what, but it's definitely a combo that you want to get some practice yeah. on. and. We're not really getting too much here. This tied 57 CS. He's he's rocking it. Maybe the, some added CS from the zombies is my guess there. Because yeah, Ice Ice yeah. Ice has been spamming the Tombstone to help him last hit against the tide. And uh, luckily, Tomb Zombies no longer give gold like they, they used to back in the olden days. Even though the Tombstone's just constantly, like, pouring out gold coins. Yeah. He, he's got the golden Tombstone, but no gold, apparently. Yeah. It's all an illusion. Yeah. So, uh, with Tiny, I think they just did a little stack farm here. I didn't see how many stacks we got, but Tiny's Treads won, 450 gold. Wisp not level 6, which is going to be your mid ideal lane. scenario. And yeah, mid lane. Ice 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 rocks up, and there's a Repel on the Puck, so we can't actually do too much to turn this one around. Tombstone is available. He threw it on the high ground, but Puck is TP'd home. This Puck's playing well, I gotta say. Like, he's up against a Wisp Tiny from v against of Vici Gaming. Like, you're a new upcoming team. That's That's a scary thought, but he's played well. Yeah, Puck is a pretty good hero against them, just because you if you just orb and fade shift drawn out, generally they can't kill you that easily, and they don't have the tether stun. With the old tether stun, you could just destroy the wisp, but or destroy the puck. So it's all plus this Omni Knight has just been very effective, and it's a great hero through the mid game against the tiny. You repel almost all his damages. It's not physical until he gets a lot of farm. It's the magic burst that normally gets you. So I think it's a pretty good Omni Knight game, and. We might see Fate continue to impress. Already level 5 on a roaming support. I mean, that's a good He's start. getting like solo kills and everything. A lot of the supports are super high level. The Wisp hits level 6 now. Skyrath is level 5. So, some very farm supports here in this game. Black Scott is minus up. He's taking the page out of the, the slasher item builds. Goes for the urn on his carry. He's got a few charges here and there, and it just gives him an extra like 150 damage nuke when he goes for kills in the early game, which is always pretty nice. Yeah, FY getting aggressive here, bottom lane. He does not have any mm. wards, just kind of poking his head around. And honestly, it's going to be on him to make some big plays in these upcoming fights, because I don't really see them taking team fights unless he gets off a great silence. So like, Ty's, Ty hasn't used Ravage yet this game. That's why. He's going to have a blink dagger, though. though. Nine minute blink arcanes? That is like, a, you've hit a sweet spot. Yeah, this should, Vici should pretty much know. I'm sure Ice 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 realizes that he's getting dominated in this lane, so. If they don't know it's yeah. up this second, they know it's coming very soon. This is ridiculous CS. I, it must be the zo hey, Anchor, Anchor Smash, does that actually hit zombies? Yeah. It does clear. Okay. That's I'm pretty sure. It's physical damage, so in theory, it should. I know, like, Axe Counter Helix does, but I'm not... Oh, they're going in mid lane. Yeah, yeah they've got Blink their Ravage, Ravage this ready. Is, this should be a certain kill. Oh, I guess you could relocate Tiny out if he's alone in the front lines, but they can kill him pretty fast. It's tough against Ravage. Yeah, the burst damage is just is pretty big. I'm Tiny maybe knows. He's playing so defensive. This is actually good awareness from Super. Yeah, Ice 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 poked his head out pretty far top lane. He hasn't seen anyone. Now he sees the Lycan. And they already know he went woods, because he was bottom. Now he's been missing for a while, so they, and for they Tiny, just kind of know. Like, why risk it? Go farm your stack, and there's too many heroes missing. You just there's, You're getting more farm from this stack anyways. Well, Vici are getting their farm. Burn coming for Fenrir, super. Drum's nearly complete if he wants to go that direction. And Yeah, that's a lot of early HP. Great to have against your Tide and your Puck, and might just be enough to live through the burst. So, waste yep. of time for your Tide Hunter. He's still hiding. He doesn't want to show his Blink Dagger right now is the, the big thing. It's like, if he's gone this long, it's like, he probably yeah. has his Blink, you know? Probably. And he's, he's doing so well in that lane. I, he should just be leveling up from Gush more now. Go, go more aggressive, I feel, this Tide build. He doesn't need to tank up. He can just get... Well, I say, say, so top, yeah, he's going to be okay. Yeah, that's a very long dive, and they are up against Relocate. Yeah. Still, I, I think Vici's perfectly fine with this. Lycan had a really slow start, and they could see he's not going for like a catch-up Midas or anything, so he's going to have a pretty limited economy this game, and... Sure, your tides farm well, but what is he he's, doing with it? He's twiddling his thumbs. He's just sitting around doing nothing right now. 
Like the last, he had the nine minute blink and now it's 11 minutes in, he still hasn't used to ravage the entire game and he wants to stay hidden to hide the fact he has a blink, but that just means he's not doing much. Black, oh, mid lane, they're gonna jump in, relocates there to try to get super out safely, doesn't oh, get the ravage, ravage. off. Yeah. Good. That was, that was close though. Yeah. He almost had it, but unless like, you've got a ward that sees him yeah, before he begins the relocate, it's just so damn tough. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna have to let Fenrir tether back. They're not going to get the kill. Yeah, they're not even going to go for the kill on Famer. He, he got the relocate off from so far away that, yeah, no chance. And really nice save. Wisp was ready for it. They, I guess, seen the Blink Dagger. Top T1 tower under siege. Now, Ice 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 drops the Golden Tombstone. And, well, Lycan, he's going to go ulti form just to secure the tower. Meanwhile, bottom lane, T1 for tier 1. Pretty standard stuff. They're trying to farm this Tombstone here. And, yeah, that little... It just gets to a point where it's like, you know, you could just ravage maybe... Uh, well, I was gonna say kill the Undying, but you really can't kill him. He's got a chainmail. Yeah. So Slack's caught up on actual raw CS, and that he's getting real CS with his C with his. Farm, he's so. one point six cap. So a lot of that is <laughs> yeah. jungle farm for the Lycan. So it's a little bit misleading. But bottom lane, they're gonna dive here. They've silenced out Fate. They force out the TP. Now Black just needs to get the hell out. He's got his ult ready. He's got a leap, and Fate won't really be able to do much to counter this. So again, they just continue to play around with speed gaming here. Kind of a a sloppy start for Vici, but end of the day, they are... They're the lineup that's content with this pace. Just a very split-push type tempo, slow, relaxed, stack Dota. Yep. That's, what's fa that's what favors them, especially with Lycan having a really slow start. And Black, he, he really shines once he picks up his Blink Dagger. So he'll get Blink, be level 10, and that's really when the fun begins for Vici Gaming. They'll start creating space for the Wiz Tiny. Tiny in mid, though, gets Ravaged, and this time it will be a kill. Just barely. Relocate was being cast by Fenrir. He actually did like a... Well, a relocate right on the spot, it looks like. Or did it get cancelled? He actually may have got clipped by the... Ra yeah, no, he actually did relocate. <laughs> no, he got it off. It was just a yeah, little bit too he late. He didn't relocate back to Fountain here. He may actually go down here. Mana Tied. for another Anchor Smash. He has a Blink Dagger still coined out. Oh, just out of range. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, top lane, Undying, dropping the zombie tombstone again as... Your puck just chills in the trees. Now they're gonna look to turn this with FY. He has two stick charges. Not quite His enough for that Mystic nothing. Flare, but Puck not gonna matter. Mana. You can't fight against the zombie. Yeah. That ain't gonna happen. Luckily, Ice 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 is Oom himself. He does a phase shift and <laughs> not enough. Blink. Down he goes. Wow. Meanwhile, FY, he's gonna smoke to dodge those last auto attacks from the wolves as they oh, nice. as they end up uh, getting finished off. They actually, I think, despawn right after that, oh. but still, I think it dodged the final killing blow. Oh, knowing FY God, he, he knew the exact time the wolves would expire, so he wouldn't have wasted this smoke. Yeah, and mid lane, they do dive in here. As you can see, on your Jakiro, toss him straight up and down. Kill secured. There's no Ravage to punish this aggression, and looks like Vici there get out Scott through. Uh, okay, Tether Slow will help him out. Too fast. Yeah. And they're just, it's like, you ha they just don't have a good lineup to shut down the Slark, as well as a Tiny Wisp. You commit Ravage, maybe the Slark even Dark Packs or just uses his ult, gets away anyway, and... Uh, you commit it on mid lane onto the wisp, tiny. There's a good chance you relocate out, and even if you do get a kill with that, then the others, the other one of those two pair, those two uh, cores is just free to do whatever he wants. Is they're gonna go in mid lane wow, onto nice. Iwi. No problem. Down he goes again. That's your like most farmed hero on the well, no longer the most farmed hero on the dire side. At one point he was, but he's just he looks like food to the wisp tiny combo. Ay ay ay. Oh, bottom lane black. They well, they need a blink silence here. It's level three. I get him. He doesn't get the Stick dark back off. Okay, there we go. He'll go into the shadow dance. He's also healing up during this, and the Wiz Tiny relocate in, and Puck. Well, he's got no escape. So oh. one kill, possibly a second, as they haven't got long here before the relocate ends. But Super's going to toss in a few seconds, and he's not going to be able to get that second kill. Either way, they get well, the Puck. That's a free tower mid lane, which honestly is better. As I say, so he continues to apply pressure here top. They're going to take their freebie mid lane they've got a toss ready and super claiming that will now be up to 2600 gold and it is top lane where your golden tombstone being happily yeah, farmed up by chow Yu. i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly no. but I'm sure chat will let me know if i'm not <laughs> not the the best game to be a tombstone no it's honestly kind of an odd pick but yeah he's a mech carrier he's just a tanky frontliner i feel in some ways it was like let's just Play around with Undying and see how uh -oh, viable FY. he is. He was really aggressive mid lane. He dropped this Observe Ward, but then they just jumped yeah. him and completely wrecked him on the way out. And the gank on the Lycan is failed. Well, Lycan eludes them in the trees, so... 
Small victories for speed gaming. They get a kill, they avoid a gank with the Lycan, who's going to now TP bottom and keep farming, and they're going to start progressing this T1 mid tower. Still, you're running a Lycan Jakiro Tide Draft, and you've taken one tower at 16 minutes with double blinks online, with your mech coming soon, and you're not even trading evenly. Like, now you'll get your second tower, but already Vici have theirs, and they're looking for a third. Yeah. It's just, it's not quite good enough right now for speed gaming. Ravage is available, but you you can't really TP everyone in in a timely fashion for top. So instead, they go for Rotem, which is a good move. This is something Vici Gaming probably just let go. They kind of, when you go for that push towards the top lane, there's nothing you can do to really stop this. Like him with Medallion, Hal, and you're going to be engaging into a Ravage. So I don't think Vici Gaming really care too much, but I size size. Does actually drop the Tomb on the high ground here, but it's too uh. late. And that, they don't have vision, so. I don't know. Meanwhile, Puck does coil, gets FY, Mystic yeah. Flare, not gonna happen. Relocate in, Wiz Tiny, this is ballsy. Oh, no? No, they didn't actually relocate. Okay, I thought they were gonna go for that. You're, you're hallucinating, gods. Look, man, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's late, it's early. Uh -oh. They're gonna keep on chasing back, and I saw, I saw some black are running the wrong direction. No they TP the scroll, other way. but also no way to cancel unless yeah. they want to ravage this. Space created, they're taking that tower top. Alright, so the relocate, which didn't happen, is uh, still available, and super and... Ben, we're gonna back off for the time being. They actually have their Blink Ravage, and if he could catch Fenrir, he could kill him, but... Not exactly sure where he is. That is a farmed Wisp. Already, Ghost Scepter online. It's the, the tower gold paying off, man. Your, your eggs is coming soon as well, and... Speed Gaming are under the gun. Sure, they managed to take down the Roche, but their, their work does not end here. They gotta keep this the pressure off. relocate. I'm not drunk this time, and it's gonna be an insta uh, Blink Silence from the Puck. That's a ballsy play to make, and... Looks like he wants to bring down FY on the Skyrath Maze. Like, and will chomp into bits, and Super needs a tether out. Oh, nice toss. The tether's on cooldown. Tiny gets ditched. Oh, dear. Yeah, Wish just bailed. You can toss magic immune units, one of the few oh, non-targetable abilities that works there, but uh, not going to matter. Well. That was very questionable. Like, they didn't have Ice 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 there. He's their mech carrier. He's probably their best team fighter, and... I just don't know why you're taking aggressive fights if you're yeah. Vici. Just split push, just rat. You're farming well, you've got a slack, he's doing great, Tiny's doing great. That Tiny's was just almost a, got eggs. And that was a suit. He like he had like 2.8 and a half K gold before that death. Speed That's, didn't even use Ravage. That was a really awkward and questionable timing, to be honest. But yeah. Well, not sure if Speed Gaming could get this next mm. objective, though. They do have the Ravage. Not having the Lycan ulti kind of hurts, because that's how they can easily bring down the Tombstone. He does have a Necro too, so the Necro units with Howl actually could do decent oh. damage. Blink, Ravage, Puck, well, like, focus down the Wisp first, and then move on to Ice Ice Ice, who's trapped in the corner here. Will get off the Tombstone, so they need to make sure they do focus at some point. With the Guardian Angel, though, no one's going to take much damage, at least from the physical damage. Purification, Omni Knight, still alive. Black's hunting, he really wants these kills, and he's taking a lot of Essence Chip charges. We'll chase down the Omni Knight to get things started. Buyback's coming into play now as Ice 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 says he's not done. Puck is still in the middle of things. FY God goes down. And this fight's just a bloody mess. Four heroes already dead for Vici. Black, your lone survivor. Don't be as Dick charges, he gets caught by the Ice Path. This as Puck doing, like, he's just oh. so elusive. Well, nice TP out there. And in the end, it didn't cost them that okay. death for Ice 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 that you mentioned, so... Speed Gaming did not lose their Aegis on Puck. Let's see, how long does he have left? He's got two minutes, so... I would still like, say overall a win for speed gaming. Yeah, man. like Ice 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 buys back there, which isn't like m important money for him. He's actually he's freaking level 12. He's really high level. But the Tiny died again as well and still yeah. does not have his eggs, which... I mean, he could have had this thing four minutes ago. Like, the good news is they've got a farm Slark, and Black is 2k up on your Lycan. So I still think it's all right for Vici, but it's painful to just see Super with so many deaths that mm. could have easily been avoided. At some point, they're going to need an answer to this Omni Knight. Like, uh, maybe Black goes for a defusal after what appears to be a Scotty. So I, I'm not too sure about that, but we'll see. Not sure what else he's going to be planning on going for. Not really a Lincoln's game with this ultimate at all. Yeah, defusal would be pretty good. And outside of that, I guess you can just go for like an Abyssal Blade and just look to jump the Omni. Uh, Abyssal BKB and just blow him up, but that's yeah. a lot more farm if you want to go that route, and I don't think Speed will be looking to take the game that late. They want to just take objective after objective now with the Necro 3, the Blink Daggers, the Omni ult, whenever it's ready. If they l turn it into that type of a game where Black has those items, then they've probably already lost their momentum anyway.
This position's okay for Vici Gaming now. The loose are tier 2 bottom, but they're in a position where they're pressuring mid, pressuring top, farming their opponent's jungle, so they're actually getting kind of equal, like, farm trade-offs. But they have got- they do have to defend the high ground. <laughs> Like, yeah, okay. you can both can farm they, for a tier two, but they gotta they gotta be careful about how they defend. It Isn't might cost them a buyback to turn this. And Ravage on line in five. Slark has buyback as the big one. That's the that's the only one too. So Necro three puck with an Aegis. This is a scary push to deal with. That Ravage not the best. Will only catch the Undying. They need to try burst him down. The Ice Path is there. Will he get off a Tombstone? Does not do so. That makes Speed Gaming's life a whole lot easier. Super trying to duke it out here. Has his Aghanim Scepter, but that's really it. Your puck. Still surviving for now, and still has that Aegis, I believe, going to orb out. Will he end up escaping in the end? No, the Aegis will pop. Black they just lose. Walked into a, like, a ton of nuke damage and just instantly melted. And they lose their Slark, as mentioned, and they, they lose the racks, just getting run over. Yeah, you, they see the buyback on the Slark, and then Speed Gaming are like, we just got Raxes, we don't really care about this. I mean, this all yeah. goes back to that relocate bottom. They're going to try and make up for it here. Going on to the like in top lane, and yeah. he will get the club. But it's all good. That was that relocate bottom is what set off this chain of events. Yep. End of the day, they've lost the lane of Rax here. They died back on their undying, and well, your Slark forced to buy back. So scratch any discussion about two, three item pickups. Just getting the one out would be nice at this point. All right. So speed gaming one melee Rax not going to win you the game though against a team like Vici Gaming and a a Wist Tiny strategy. So they've got to uh, keep up the pressure. Maybe wait for the next ages before they go for another high ground push, but. Yeah. Even waiting that long is kind of risky, because Vici Gaming will have another item on the Tiny by then. Slark will maybe have finished off his Scardi. And I think they're getting a Here lot out of the fact he doesn't even have anything picked up right now. Great. It's no Ravage, but Yui's yeah, not afraid at all. Yeah, or IY, I'm not sure how you say this name, but he just goes in. Squishy Skyrath Mage. What an off game for Vici. 3-8 and eight on FY, and just constantly finds himself just in a very awkward position against a lineup that doesn't really gank well. Yep. He's just, it kind of reminds me of Fluff and stuff, you know, when, oh, mid lane, they're going to jump in on Ice Ice Ice. And, well, the zombie man. He's alone. That's he's a dead man. And he's not really split pushing either. He's an undying, so shouldn't really be there, but. But you remember, like, with Fluff and stuff when he was on Team Liquid, where he'd just go off on these weird solo warding missions, <laughs> and sometimes they were brilliant. Like, he'd drop a ward, he'd go up three hills with a solo smoke undetected, get a crazy ward down that tr turns the game, and then other yep. times. Yo, know, he'd walk up that hill, there'd be four heroes waiting for him, he'd die, and it would happen multiple times, and I, I guess this is that other side of the coin that FY is experiencing right now. There's definitely an art to warding as a support, and like, a lot of luck involved as well, whether you, I mean, if you go for those smokes, they bypass enemy wards, or yeah. if, you, if your opponents have a ward and they see where you're going and to plan a ward, you get caught out, otherwise maybe you don't, so. They're going for two lanes of racks oh. here, Speed Gaming trying to just finish oh, this one, there's your Rabbit, Rabbit. on to Super, Fenrir caught out as well, Wisp. Does manage to pop the Ghost Scepter retreat out, but the Omni ult keeps him in fighting shape. Guardian Angel here, and that's a double lane of Rax Speed Gaming, just trucking through Vici. Two Rax Gods, now that is still recoverable. You can still recover from it, but yeah. it gets very tricky. Wow, and that, what? Jakiro says, no problem, I'm getting out of there. Black's still chasing the Omni Knight, but... Yeah, he's got okay. that, he's got that repel though. Uh, oh, they might get, get him. This gets tricky. The repel duration is not going to be long. He's just buying items. Or trying to buy items. Bracer. <laughs> TP. I, he bought the TP and then he's like, okay, i got to spend the rest of my money before I die. What do I buy with 875 Bracer, Bracer, gold? Bracer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he's going to go for a, a... Well, he can't go for another drums. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? It's cost yep. efficient stats. That's... Yeah. Okay. Nah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty questionable, but casual Bracer hey, for now You want to break high ground? Those drum charges can help out. I mean, Vici got to get something out of this. That, that they're just you're you're actually trying to push here. I mean, it's also worth mentioning they had to buy back on Tiny there, so they're really committed to this one. And Black, way out of position on the high ground, may end up going down. Maybe not. Your macro pyre, not enough to keep Vici gaming out. Big damage done by Super. Maybe this was the plan all along. Give up two lanes of Rax, die back on the on dying, and then. Uh. You're just walk down mid and try to end the game. <laughs> I don't think you're getting this high ground though. Tiny could buy back if he really needs to. I don't think he's going to need to. I what think a YOLO game. <laughs> um, he's just TPing outside of the base, then canceling it. Black leaping in and getting caught out. But, well, actually, okay. the puck who ends up going down there is he tried to counter initiate. Tide I'm might need to path. buy back now. This is this is getting dicey. Yeah, he's going to buy back. You're up like two two lanes of Raxes. You may as well buy back and protect your own Raxes because that's a very big lead to have. And they're chasing They them. have nothing on the repelled like, and they're going to bring down the Tiny. That's a dieback on Super as well. well. Now you're undying. Another death for him is the big bad wolf.
starts to hunt Little Red Riding Hood. Relocate out. Was used. Ah. Back to the well they go, but... Is that, that really worth saving FY? Uh, if I'm that wisp, I'm like, screw you, man. You've fed enough. You can feed one more. <laughs> like... What does it matter? Yeah, I... Yeah, yeah I, not, I... Not worth. Either way, not worth, and... The, the they 4K have no Skyrath Mage, that guy you just sack. They have no economy now. Remember yeah. when this Slark was up 2k gold on the enemy Lycan? Yeah, that's... Things, that things was a long... Changed. And that was after a Roche in several towers for the Lycan. That, those days are long gone. Yep. He's down in net worth. Lycan almost has AC complete, and... Gods, I think if you're speed gaming, it's just one more solid Roche and a carefully executed high ground push, and... Carefully executed? They can just throw shit at the wall if they want to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something will stick. Something yeah, will stick. Probably. But never un yeah. never underestimate the potential no, no, for throw, especially against a tiny wisp. But this is a very <laughs> underwhelming tiny wisp at this point. And again, I'm I'm starting to just feel like Super Fenrir is just not at the same level as what Ice 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 FY was when they were running this combo for the yeah. team. The Sinji's not really been there. Really, a really good Omni Knight pick, and I think Puck's actually played really well this game. He's made a few kind of what looked like really bad amateur mistakes, but overall his plays, his initiations, and his, his team fight at bottom lane at the T3 tower was really impressive. So, And he's got a big item for them. They give him the Aegis again. He has yeah. a Hex online, and with right. this Hex, no BKB on Tiny. Slark, if he's not really fortunate with his Dark Pact, will die to that as well. And hey, that Wisp, just Hex him, make sure there's no defensive relocate. Even getting the Undying, we've seen Ice Ice Ice, they don't even really need the Hex to kill him, but if they do, it's just bonus, and yep. with with the Repel, he can just jump in. He doesn't have to fear anything. Looking for Black, but he gets whiff of them, and we'll get out of there, so just straight down the top lane. It's Vici Gaming probably know exactly what's coming. Super will do as much damage as he can down the mid lane. He doesn't have buyback, so if he can pick up this Assault Crest before the push reaches his base, it'd be fantastic, but he's so f he's actually pretty far away from it. Well, gods, this is an inauspicious start for Vici Gaming, yeah. but they had a similar one in the Summit. They almost didn't qualify for the playoffs. I think they start off like 1-3, and three, or maybe 0-3, and three, and then came back to finish 4-3. and three. Barely made their way in, but yeah, they, they're, they're just, the they're just not rate. a juggernaut, you know? Like, and at least in China. What, they, they're just so hit or miss. What's, what's happening here, LD? Base trade? This is Wiz, the Wiz Tiny base trade. They're not going for the throne. They're going to go for the Raxes and try and TP back to fight, I guess. I don't think you do this They're if you're pinging, They are pinging the tier 4s, but... Speed have to go for the They get a meter the Rax and they're here. going for the throne. Oh, come on. Speed on, Gaming, boys. you have this game in the bag. Don't give it up too easy. Super working on the tower. They're going to bring back a little bit of reinforcements. Now the TPS are attempted, but that's not going to happen. They'll Ravage here. Yeah. Catching out Ice 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 and Black. They're both down. Still Tiny Wisp in the base, but they're now they TP back, out. Yeah. Uh-oh. They're not getting the throw. Ice, ice, ice. Dunzo. Does not Yikes. have a buyback. Doesn't look like it's going to matter. That's Megas, I think. Rain tracks at bottom lane. Yeah, that died earlier, so... I I think that's just GG. Well. <laughs> ah, they're going for the throne. Vici Gaming. Ah, uh, seven seconds and Wisp is gone. And I don't think Super can do that. His damage isn't there. Like, this is not a... He's level 14. He doesn't have level 16. Like, Good game, well. This is not well. a tiny base race. <laughs> Good game, well. Yeah, well, it was not well played. Well, I guess this was a good game. <laughs> How appropriate. I'll good be. game. Well, that should be a well, not a well. I, uh, a funny little game to start off with Season 11 with. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Speed gaming. Um, a sign of things to come. Hopefully Starlighter Season 11 uh, steps its game up, but... Yeah, yeah this, this one's on this one's on Vici, dude. Not take away from Speed Gaming, but they yeah we're not playing Vici Gaming at their best. Just that relocate bottom when yeah. they just relocate on top of four heroes. They've already seen Death Ball. Oh gosh, just yeah. just Tiny Wisp plus one, man. Why? Just split I, push. I don't know. We got just rat it up. Right, you gotta good. mute that. Yeah, I gotta mute this. Come on, dude, get it together. There you go. Sorry guys, we had echo. I saw that earlier, and I was like, I gotta remember to unmute that. But, <laughs> whew. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, what do we have coming up next? Do we, um, do we have uh, more Chinese Dota? I know we, we have like a we nice have mix IMG. today. IMG are playing. We get to our first taste of the new team. Let me see if I can remember how these overlays work. Team Magneto versus C deck. Magneto. Okay, so we'll get our first look at a team that I have never seen before. It has. Oh, it's one name that sounds familiar. Io, A Y O. Who did he play for? He used to play. Was that for Rising Star? CIS, I want to oh, say. Oh, CIS. Oh, he's a Black Soul teammate. Yeah. Is he on? Is he on I Team IMG? It's he wasn't on the. Says he is. Maybe okay. not. He wasn't on the roster on the Style of the website. But I don't know. I'm not, okay. not entirely sure on that one. But so Speed Gaming pick up a win. 
Whew. Vici Gaming saying, we don't really want to go to Ukraine, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> if they don't want to go, just don't play yeah, the online no. stage, dude. I think that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got. I think we're we're late for the next game. We're beyond the schedule, so you guys are watching Starlight Season Eleven with Gods and LD. Stick around; we'll have uh, more action coming your way soon.